What is going on, guys? This is your boy Shady Mike Gaming, and welcome to my Trey Young signature shot. That's how they used to say his name in the arena back when we was in Atlanta at the Hawks games. Uh, I'm a Sixers fan, but oh man, uh, living in Atlanta, going to see Trey Young live in person is really my last pre-pandemic uh, memory. So special shout out to uh, you know Atlanta and the Hawks. So uh, a couple quick house uh, cleaning things before we get into the shot. Uh, first and foremost, I wanted to say thank you so much to everyone for all of the support. Uh, we are running up uh, getting close to 8,000 subscribers. We've had over a thousand subscribers in the last month. I said my goal was uh, to hit 10K by the end of uh, 2021, and it looks like we might do it a little bit sooner than that. So, uh, thank you guys so much for the support. Um, definitely, you know, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you do like this content, I so much coming for you guys this week. We're gonna have another mod showcase. Of course, we are going to have um, my the uh, release of my slider set. Um, now I'm going to showcase the sliders tomorrow on stream. If you're watching this, it's probably actually now that I think about it. You're probably watching this on Tuesday. So I'm going to be streaming tonight, um, 8 to 10 uh, p.m. Eastern time. So definitely stop by uh, so you guys can check out these sliders. Uh, so you guys can stop spamming every non slider video I make with where's the sliders? I know the game is a little bit rough and, you know, we need some sliders. But uh, thank you so much for the support, everybody. Uh, you know, we're going to you know, we're going to be doing a lot of great things this year. So um, it wouldn't be possible without you guys. So let's go ahead and get into Trey Young. We're going to take a look into his default jump shot. So th guys, this SIG is actually super easy. And, and I think a lot of people kind of overthink it. Um, let's go ahead and go like, you know, place by place and, you know, address everything that we want to address with the Trey Young jump shot. The first thing, let's go ahead and take a look at the base, actually. So the base, um, when Trey Young shoots, it's hard because sometimes he shoots with a little bit more vertical, but I do consider that to be his moving jump shot or, you know, a dribble pull up per se as 2K would call it. Most of the time, eight times out of 10, we'll say, um, Trey, what Trey Young is going to do, he's going to do a short hop and he's going to angle his body ever so slightly to the left. That right foot is going to come up a little bit. And I think 2K did a pretty decent job. Um, I just think that they have him hopping forward way too much. Uh, the vertical is not a problem. It's just he hops forward a little bit far. Um, and when reality, he almost stays in place, but he still kind of has that like off to the left um, angle there. So we, we are going to change his base, but the Trey Young base is phenomenal and i'm not gonna argue and say he doesn't sometimes shoot like that let's go ahead and take a look at the release guys the trey young release is really good right let's not sit here and try and reinvent the wheel um there's not a lot of bases that are anything similar to trey young's base which is why there's only so much you can do to correct it so when you take a look at trey young's default shot he shoots it from like the right side of his face and that left well, let's just talk about ball placement. The first thing he shoots it like to the right side, far right side of his face, and it is too far to the right. Uh, Trey shoots more so through his face. And like, if you look at this rear angle, he is kind of shooting it too far to the right. It should be a little bit more to the center, but it's not terrible. Thank you. 
Um, I, I like to compare like when Trey Young shoots, it almost looks like he's like hiding his face behind the ball. And realistically, that release point should be like right here. So he kind of shoots it like outwards a little bit more as opposed to, you know, what he does, you know, to the right. So one thing about Trey is he does have a pretty significant flick of that right wrist. And we are going to go ahead and replicate that. But the big thing about Trey Young is that offhand. And guys, I've seen so many different six shots. There's only like four jumpers in the game that have the offhand like that, including Trey Young. So that means there's only three. So the only issue with the offhand with Trey is it does that weird thing where it kind of goes in like that. That doesn't happen. When he shoots, it just kind of stays straight. The only thing we need to do to Trey Young's release is keep that offhand straight, move the ball down a little bit, maybe, you know, have a little bit less of a hop with the jumper, the, with the base, and we're good to go. We don't need to do anything crazy. It's not that deep. And I think some people really, really kind of overthought this jumper. His default jumper is fine. And the number one thing you always want to look with Trey, um, if I can get it here. I'm gonna have to move the camera. You always wanna look at that side angle. You want that hand to be right there in the air and you want that wrist to flick out. And that's what we're gonna take a look at. That's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna kill this just like we kill every other sick shot. Um, forget all the haters, let's go. All right, guys, and we are back with our Trey Young signature shot again, guys. And we're just here. We're gonna watch Trey shoot. Let's let's go ahead and watch Trey get a couple shots off. Number one thing you're gonna want to look at with the base again. We did try to emulate his set shot. Like I said, we're gonna when it comes to moving jump shots, we're we're gonna let the pull ups handle that. We're just trying to emulate Trey Young's base jump shot. And let's go ahead and take a look at the base. You're going to see his feet aren't too far spread apart, but you are going to notice that that it is slightly slanted to the left. Like we said, that right foot is ever so slightly, uh, you know, ahead of the left. And again, one thing we were talking about, too, is the ball placement. It's right in front of his face. It's not too much to the right, like the default shot. And again, the perfect way when I was looking at the footage, I said it's like he's trying to hide his face. It's like he's trying to hide his face behind the ball. And you're gonna watch as he comes through the shot. What did I say we were gonna look for? Look at this side angle right here. If I can get it, there we go. That offhand stays straight, and then he has a flick of the wrist. It's a good shot. And if you will, if you look at the offhand, we were able to fix the issue uh you know with it kind of turning inwards i don't know why it was like that maybe it's a little bit more of a bug but i mean guys i want to be honest this was not one of the harder shots that i've done again let's watch it in motion full here we got trey young and i think we did a pretty good job all right guys and here we are this is my trey young signature shot we're going with jump shot 101 this is a really good base for his super set shot now um real quick a couple alternates if you'd rather go for one to try and emulate his shot where it gets a little bit more lift and a little bit you know more kind of a lunge a great alternate is 107 as you can see pretty much the same thing just a little bit more lift i think it's very accurate um some others i've also seen uh what was it i saw someone was using the jason kidd release i didn't like the jason kidd one because i thought it just twisted him a little bit too far to the left but that is one that is also an alternate i thought form wise was pretty accurate but it's just the motion of him going into the shot i thought was a little bit unrealistic i am going to be using jump shot 101 myself i think it looks best trey young release blended to 40 with release 12 nothing crazy um release timing is going to be quick and not very quick i felt like the shot kind of glitched out a little bit when you went with quick so um we're gonna stick with a um you know the normal quick i'm sorry it glitched out when you use very quick which is why we stick with quick um move over we're switching to free throw 37 is a little bit more accurate dribble pull up is athletic four spin jumper is nate robinson and the hop jumper for his step back and kind of his snatch back is oh my goodness it is so 
accurate. So we go with Nate Robinson. Moving on to the layups, this is a little bit of a tough one. The proper layup package for Trey Young is Steph Curry. Form wise, this is the most accurate. However, it is not what I use. Why? Simply put, I just don't like it. I don't like the arc. I think it looks weird and kind of unrealistic. I think some of his floaters when he's tossing the ball up like that go way too high. It just annoys me. Um, so you can, what I'm using is default small. It still has a lot of those finger rolls, which are exactly, you know, some of the things that Trey does. But if you really want to get like that exact motion where he's literally throwing an underhanded layup, you got to go with Steph Curry. However, I will be using default small. I actually also use default small on Steph, believe it or not. Oh, also one quick thing I meant to mention was uh, no dunk package for Trey Young. I couldn't find any uh, footage of him dunking uh, except like in practice, uh, no in-game dunks. So he's getting the Steve Nash treatment. No dunk package for Trey Young. Um, moving on to the post game, not a lot here, guys. I, I looking, you know, you could find him in like Team USA uh, workouts doing fadeaways. I didn't feel like clipping cutting all those clips he doesn't he doesn't use post game so these are pretty accurate to what i could see uh but you know this is his post game now for the handle this is critical the dribble style is Allen iverson so that when he does some of his crossovers he gets kind of that wrist twisting carrying motion you have to go with the Allen Iverson dribble style and the Jamal Crawford size up is very accurate to uh, what we've seen Trey Young before he sets up a lot of his drives actually um you know Trey Young actually doesn't shoot like off the dribble as much as I thought he did uh when using you know when I was looking through clips so uh, you know the Jamal Crawford signature size up it just most wise is a very accurate to exactly what we've seen from Trey Young and that's gonna do it guys thank you so much for tuning in uh, we just finished Trey Young next up as you can see by the poll it was close but we do have Paul George coming up next uh, obviously he barely beat John Moran we are gonna do both of these guys we're just gonna do Paul George first I know a lot of people really really wanted John Moran don't worry we will get great signature shots done for both of these guys um, thank you so much for the support guys remember I will be streaming tonight 8 to 10 here on YouTube on that stream. I will be revealing uh, my slider set. Um, you know, so, you know, in a little bit of an early stage, the final version is going to come this Friday. But, you know, to get a sneak peek and try it out for yourself, um, I will reveal that tonight on stream. Other than that, guys, that's all I got. Um, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow all of my social networks, um, the 2K Modding Society, join the Discord. We're lit over there. We got like 2,500 members now, so that's really cool. So, where that community is really growing, I really appreciate all the support other than that guys i'm out of here shady mike peace threes